so hello guys and welcome back so today we will be dealing with yet another problem from the math explorer speed test series so guys let me bring the problem on the screen so here is the problem guys and really interesting problem will be a good one to solve so if you want you may try this question out once yourself i will wait for a few seconds and then i will start off solving this Okay, so guys, I hope now we can start off solving. So first thing is Sn is denoting the sum. You can see whatever is given. So first thing is let's ignore that sigma part, this bracketed part for a while. Let's focus on the pi part first because that is what is irritating us kind of. So this thing is pi i equals to 0 to r minus 1 n plus r minus i and multiplied by n minus i. So there are two terms basically, we can write this thing as pi i equals to 0 to r minus 1, you know right, we can actually like pi operator is one of those operators in which if there are two multiplied brackets you can easily split them because basically multiplying these and these individually is actually multiplying both of them, right. So I can take this in two separate brackets, pi i equals to 0 to r minus 1 n minus i, okay. So these are the two brackets and now like if I expand, let's say uh, we first expand, let's say this. So pi i equals 0 to r minus 1 and this is n minus i. So if we expand this thing, this will be n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and this thing will go till n minus r plus 1. So actually you can see this thing is nothing but n factorial by n minus r factorial right i hope i don't have to explain this this is pretty simple so that is for n minus i and very similarly we will also try to write down pi i equals to 0 to r minus 1 n plus r minus i so actually if we evaluate this thing this will come out to be equal to n plus r factorial by n factorial. I am not going into expanding this in a very similar way, okay, exactly similar, like that's why I didn't write. Just expand this and you will automatically see this is n plus r factorial by n factorial, okay. And if you like, I am not going into it because there is a lot of things to explain in this sum. So if you have any difficulties, do let me know, okay. Anyways, so we can actually write now, write your pi equals to r, sorry, pi, pi i equals to 0 to r minus 1 n plus r minus i into n minus i. We can write this thing as n plus r factorial by n factorial multiplied by n factorial by n minus r factorial. So this thing n factorial n factorial is getting cancelled. So you will finally have n plus r factorial whole divided by n minus r factorial. Pretty interesting actually. So that is for the multiplicative part. So guys, like, this is the final thing that we are having for the multiplicative term, okay? Okay, so guys, right now the sum we had, which is your SR, it was, I guess, given to be, okay, wait, let's ignore the sigma. I am only writing the inside part, okay? This is sigma, whatever it is given, and n square minus 2 r square. I'm sorry, plus n, and I guess this thing is minus 3r minus 1 whole divided by r plus 1 whole square into r factorial whole square, and this thing has come out to be equal to n plus r factorial into n minus, I'm sorry, not into, whole divided by n minus r factorial. Now, actually, this part has something that will twist the question a lot, okay? Like, this actually will stop you, and you will be stuck at all like how to proceed okay because there is no telescoping and all nothing can be seen right now so for that actually like what we are going to do is this thing here like factorials are present in this particular fraction and i guess r factorial whole square doesn't look good in a separate position right so let's take it together so this will be n square minus 2 r square plus n minus 3 r minus 1 whole divided by your r plus 1 whole square 
and this thing is n plus r factorial whole divided by r factorial whole square into n minus r factorial this is the thing so like our target is to bring this out somehow so that is the actual taste for the question so it is actually really easy okay just a little bit of brains just seeing these terms will give you the idea actually this will be n plus r cr if we write that it is equal to n plus r factorial like I am trying to express this thing in terms of binomial coefficients because if that comes actually then our manipulation will get a lot easier. n plus r cr is n plus r factorial whole divided by r factorial whole square. I'm not sorry, not r factorial whole square. Only r factorial and this thing is n factorial. Okay. Okay. And next is n cr which is equal to n factorial whole divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial. So you can see that n plus r cr into n cr is equal to n plus r factorial whole divided by r factorial whole square n factorial n factorial getting cancelled and n minus r factorial. So actually this thing is actually this thing. Okay. So really good. So proceeding guys, this thing SR or whatever, it has become sigma n square minus 2r square plus n minus 3r minus 1 whole divided by r plus 1 whole square and equal to n plus r, I mean not equal to, this thing is multiplied by n plus r cr into n cr. Okay. Okay, so guys, right now what I will be doing is I am a little bit defining this. I am defining a small term AR, which is equal to N plus R C R into N C R. Why I am doing this, you will understand very soon. So actually this thing will come out to be equal to sigma N square minus 2 R square plus N minus 3 R minus 1 whole divided by R plus 1 whole square into AR. Okay. So like, see, we are actually targeting towards the telescoping relation, okay, because like my very honest bluffing or rather honest guess out of the blue, I didn't have any logic when I was solving this, but my honest sort of guess was that there might be something of telescoping series in this, okay, and it is actually true, it has. So guys, what I will be doing is, I will try to compute AR plus 1 now, okay? Let's see, let's try and see what happens. So AR plus 1 by the definition will be N plus R plus 1 factorial whole divided by R plus 1 factorial whole square. And this thing is, I guess, your N minus R minus 1 factorial, okay? So if we try to write this in terms of AR, okay, this is a little bit of intelligent manipulation you have to do. Not really difficult actually, you can, okay. This will come out to be equal to, I'm writing the result directly, N plus R plus 1 into N minus R whole divided by R plus 1 whole square. And actually this term here, this thing will go into AR, okay. You can manipulate and see, it's not very difficult. So this is it guys and if we try to now compute AR plus 1 minus AR then this thing will come out to be equal to AR into N plus R plus 1 into N minus R whole divided by R plus 1 factorial whole square minus 1 okay. So let's try to compute this guys okay. Let's compute. Okay, wait. Actually, I did a small mistake. N plus R plus 1 factorial and this thing is R plus 1 factorial whole square, right? Actually, when you write it in terms of AR, this factorial will not be there. It will be R plus 1 whole square only in the denominator, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Please correct it. Anyways, let's proceed. So, right now, actually, after this, the result that is going to come will entirely shock you. So, AR... And this thing, if we multiply, okay, I will maybe do the multiplication separately or let's do it here only. Multiplication, this will come out to be equal to n square plus n 
माइनस आर स्क्वायर माइनस आर माइनस ऑफ आर स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर प्लस वन होल डिवाइडेड बाय आर प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर सो इफ यू कंप्यूट दिस राइट नाउ देन दिस थिंग विल कम आउट टू बी इक्वल टू ए आर इन टू एन स्क्वायर माइनस टू आर स्क्वायर प्लस एन माइनस थ्री आर माइनस वन होल डिवाइडेड बाय आर प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर ओके एंड इफ आई टेक यू अ लिटिल बिट बैक फ्रॉम द स्क्रीन देन यू विल सी दिस एंड द रिजल्ट वी ऑप्टेंड राइट नाउ आर एंटायरली सेम विच एक्चुअली मीन्स दैट वी हैव फाउंड आउट इट ओके वी हैव फाउंड वट वॉज रिक्वायर्ड सो गाइज दिस थिंग लाइक दिस इज योर ए आर प्लस वन माइनस ए आर आई गेस एंड दिस थिंग इज इक्वल टू ए आर एन टू दिस और राधा आई कैन actually okay wait what i just a minute guys okay guys actually this summation will be sr i did a few mistakes not mistakes actually i forgot to write and this thing you see here just substitute it for something so what i'm doing is this particular part was inside this sigma right so i am writing this particular thing as a summand r Summand is a very good term for a sum or a telescopic expression. It's an English word. Don't worry. I'm writing this as summand r. So summand r has come out to be equal to a r plus one minus a r. Okay. Like this particular thing, entire thing, I'm writing it as summand r. So it is equal to a r plus one minus a r. Okay. So right now, guys, we are in a very good position to actually telescope this sum. Okay. So let's proceed. so actually your sn will be equal to sigma r equals to 1 till n minus 1 summand r okay so this thing will be equal to sigma r equals to 1 till n minus 1 a r plus 1 minus a r and if you evaluate this this will come out to be a n minus a1 plain simply so an is equal to if we substitute n in place of r in that expression we took ar it will be equal to n plus n cn n cn so it is basically 2n cn and n cn is obviously 1 so it is 2n cn right yeah and i guess if we try to compute a1 so this will come out to be equal to n plus 1 c1 into n c1 so this is n into n plus 1 so we have finally got the value of the summation which is 2 n c n minus n into n plus 1 okay sum is done and after this little bit of calculation will be there we were supposed to find s6 So S six is actually twelve C six minus six into seven forty two, and this will I guess you can calculate twelve factorial by six factorial, six factorial minus forty two. Let's do the calculation. Twelve into eleven into ten into nine into eight into seven, and six factorial one is cancelled I guess. So this is a six factorial meaning seven twenty. So ten and zero gone, eight nine zero is seventy two and nine nine zero is gone. So seven eleven and twelve. I guess this is seventy seven into twelve. So nine twenty four minus forty two. This comes out to be eight eighty two. So guys, final answer for this question will be eight hundred and eighty two. Okay. This is a really good question. So like. i really liked you know because you can't actually figure out in the beginning that this will include binomial coefficients it was a really good question okay if you have done this yourself then really commendable anyways guys that will be the end for today's video and i hope you have liked this question also because it's a really good question so guys if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe 
anything to say any doubts or anything you might come in the comment section always welcome and do also join my telegram discussion chat because we are having there fruitful discussions for your preparation so that's it for today guys and thanks for watching